Hello guys, Yaroslav from Gateway IT here, and today I'm going to show you how to configure internet line load balancing on your PFSense firewall. So this is our PFSense machine running inside of VirtualBox, and this in front of you is the web interface for it. On your PFSense, go to Interfaces, Assignments, and make sure that you have both of your VAN interfaces configured. All right, with our interfaces configured, let's go to system routing. For this method to work properly, you need to have a different monitor IP for every gateway on your system. And to set up your monitor IP, edit one of your gateways and populate this section right here. I've chosen Google DNS as my monitor IP because there is a very little chance that their DNS will go down. So you can basically just copy my config here. Then after you've done that, hit save and edit the second gateway. Now for the second gateway, I chose Cloud9 DNS service. You can do the same if you want to. Again, hit save. And now we can apply changes. After changes have been applied, go to gateway groups. I already have my gateway group set up. So let me show you how it's done. Gateway groups are really easy to configure. Just populate the group name here. In my case, it's van round robin. Choose the same tier for both of your gateways. And this will result in 50-50 load balancing of your internet lines. Trigger level is packet loss or high latency. And the description in my case is the same as a group name. Hit save and apply changes. Van round robin is very good when you have two internet lines with approximately the same speeds. But for example, if one of your lines is one gig and the other one is 50 megabits, then there is no point of doing the van round robin. So in that case, we would want to set up a van connection failover. This type of configuration will basically use only one of the internet lines at the time. And if the faster one goes down, only then will it switch to the slower one. If that's your scenario and you wanted to set that up, click add. I'll use the group name as van failover, then assign the higher tier to your faster internet line, and then the tier with the lower priority for the slower one. In this case, trigger level would be member down, and I'll use the same description as a group name. And this is pretty much all we have to do on the gateway side. But now we have to set up a firewall rule that will force our clients to use either failover connection or van round robin. Go to firewall, rules, switch to your LAN network. And now I will edit my default LAN rule, but if you don't have any, just create a new one. Action pass, interface LAN, address family IPv4 in my case, protocol any, source LAN NAT, destination any, then give it any kind of description and click on display advanced. Scroll all the way down and find the gateway section. And if you click on it, you can see that we have a handful of gateways we can choose from. You can still use one gateway at a time if you wanted to, but now we also have an option of using the gateway group. And I'll just go with van round robin. Hit save, apply changes, and that's pretty much all you have to do to get your internet line load balancing up and running. So as you can see from this short demonstration, we achieved the internet line load balancing. Now, if you wanted to apply the failover rule, instead of van the round robin group, just choose van failover group. And that's pretty much it. Save and apply changes as usual. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.